Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you like fragrance-related content like this, don't forget to share your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that a lot. If you like fragrance content, free fragrance giveaways, and top 10 lists. Today we're talking about Killian fragrances. I have a Killian fragrance haul, so I have two fragrances here that I purchased. Um, and it will attach, I'll attach a giveaway to whatever uh, free samples I get in these packages. All you have to do is make sure you like the video, uh, leave a comment down below of your name and state. Um, to USA only, and I'll pick the giveaway winners, two of them, when I do the full reviews on both these fragrances here. Before the video starts, this is not a sponsored video by Killian at all. Um, I buy my fragrances by Killian, they never sent me any fragrances, so on that note, let's open these up and see what I got. They have a sale going for save 30, I'll leave it down below, where you get uh, $30 off a fragrance you buy, so not too bad. Open it up. Comes in a nice bag like this. Has the receipt here. Nice packaging. And yeah, comes with the box right here. Pretty cool box. Killing. And it comes with a uh, sample. Not too bad. Let's pass up here. Let's see what I got. This is Killian Intoxicated. All the perfume. Um, I know people ask about Killian, so I'm going to set the record straight like this. If you think it's niche, it's niche. If you think it's designer, it's designer. It's $240 for a 50ml bottle. I don't see that at Sephora, Nordstrom, or um, Macy. So I think it's a niche. I'm going to call it niche, but you can call it designer. I'm not going to argue with you because you can't buy these at Macy. So and you're not paying $240 for most designers out there. Unless you're going with the Christian Dior Privé line. That's like $250. That's pretty much it. So this is niche, if you want to call it designer, whatever. Just want to touch on that moment. Let's open it up. It's a nice presentation. I can get it open. So it opens up like a book. Shout out to my boy Maximus for giving me information about the sales and stuff in Killian. Nice presentation, nice little card. This is the presentation in the bottle. So this one here, the Killian one here, um, this one here has cardamom, it's spicy. This does have, excuse me, reminiscence of Amen by Terry Mugler. So this one's probably my son today. Beautiful bottle presentation of Intoxicated. Nice K up top. Bottle here, bottom, back presentation. Um, I'll make this my son today. So, Intoxicated by Killian. This one is one of my favorites by Killian Fragrances. This is, it's uh, sweet. It's a little bit fresh in the opening, but you get that cardamom, that spiciness, the coffee feel in the fragrance. So this is nice. I can see the coffee flash gourmand type of fragrance. I will do a full review on this one when I get a chance. But I will, I do have samples here. So I have two, I think I have one or two samples here. Okay. So I have two samples. And I think one is intoxicated. So I have uh, Straight to Heaven and I have Vodka on the Rock. So I'll do uh, a giveaway of Straight to Heaven. Uh, just leave a comment down below with why you want a sample of Straight to Heaven. And I'll send it to you when I do the full review on um, Intoxicated by Bike Killing. All right, put this fragrance to the side. Let's grab the next fragrance. See what this is about. No other than Sacred Wood, Water Perfum. I've never smelled this. Maximo shot Maximo he told me it smells really good. So I'm curious to see if it's good or not. This will be my really first impression because I already smelled Intoxicated um, a year or two ago and I loved it. So this is a blind buy for me. I don't recommend blind buying, but I heard it smells like the original. Never smelled it. Let's try it out. Opens up like a book. Same as a card, which is nice. Nice little detail inside with the Kent Killian logo. Sacred Wood. I know they brought this back and people are happy. Some people say that it doesn't smell the same. Don't know. So never smell the original. This is sacred wood. And yeah, I'm gonna grab a test strip right here. Grab a test strip. Here it is. 
and I'll spray it on test strip. I don't know the note breakdown at all. I know it's supposed to be a sandalwood and um, some type of carrot seeds, something like that. Okay. Okay. So this one here has that sandalwood. It's dark. Different. Mm, not sure if I'm feeling this one. Definitely get a carrot seed type of feel in this fragrance here. Creamy, some vanilla. It's nice, but I'm not sure if I'm loving it. But so far, I do like the way it's kind of it's smooth, it's dark, it's creamy. Definitely get some incense smokiness in this fragrance. Definitely feels like a fall and winter type fragrance. I don't think I'll wear this in the spring and summer, but definitely want to try it out a few days and see how I feel about it. I do like the beautiful bottle. And um, yeah, this is Sacred Wood. Let me see what samples I got here. So the samples I have here is for so fragrance is just for okay. So this is for uh, intoxicated and vodka on the rocks. So I'm gonna give these two samples away as well. So I'll give away three samples: vodka on the rocks, intoxicated, and I'll give away a sample of straight to heaven. So all you gotta do is make sure you like the video. Leave a comment down below which sample you want, uh, name and state, and I'll uh, pick the winners in one week's time when I review both these fragrances. I'll uh, announce the winners in uh, my full review on Intoxicated. Thanks for watching another video. If you like this type of content, make sure you support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that. Make sure you like the video if you like this type of content, and make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe out there. Peace.